Hi, I am going to be showing you how to cover a book. So the first thing that you're going to need to cover a book is you're going to need um, a flat card. I have my Costco card from my um, wallet. Um, you're also going to need this. This is special tape. It's called filament tape. Um, you'll see it has lines on it and that is super strong and it helps keep our book covers on our books. Um, you'll want to grab the book that you're going to cover. So I have this one today. You'll know that it's ready to cover because it'll have the barcode or excuse me, the call number on it and the barcode on the back. And then the last thing you're going to need is what's called Mylar. Um, and it comes in three different sizes. So I have a smaller one here. That's going to be too small for what we have to cover. Um, there's this one, which is a little bit bigger. And then um, this is the biggest one that we have. So you see they come in different sizes. It'll just depend on um, what book you're covering. So once you have all your materials ready to go, you are going to flip the book jacket off of the book. So all you're going to do is open the book up, take the dust jacket off, and set the book to the side. So you're going to want to open up the book cover to make sure that your mylar is going to fit. So I'm going to open this one up, make sure I turn it the right way. So to test to see if it's the right size, you're going to want to open it all the way up. So the flaps and all of the parts are open. So my biggest size is just the right size for this one. So I'm going to tilt the camera down so you guys can see. So I have my mylar here and my jacket ready to go. The first step you're going to do is you are going to fold this paper. You'll see there's a plastic sheet in the paper. So you're going to fold this part up. You're going to take the book cover and you're going to fit it all the way to the very top of the crease. So you want to make sure that you get it all the way up to the top. And then you're going to take the paper and fold it down. And as I fold it down, I just kind of make sure that it's flush with the top. So it'll look like this. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to fold up the bottom. So I'm going to look to see. It has perforations on the bottom, so you can fold up the paper. Um, but then you're going to need to also fold up the plastic part. So you're going to take this plastic part and fold it up. And I kind of squeeze it up to get all the space to make sure I have it all the way lined up. And then I'm going to take my flat card, any card will work, um, and I'm going to run it along the edge of the plastic so that I get a really good crease on the fold. So I'm going to fold just like that and run my crease. Um, the next step you're going to do is you're going to get the book and you're going to place it right in the middle and then you're going to open it out and you're going to find the flap. So you're going to look to see where the flap is and you want to leave a little bit of space so that it has room to fold. So I'm going to look at this. You can see I've got it here and there's a little bit of this extra paper and that's fine. You can leave that. Um, once again, I'm going to get my card and I'm going to run a flat line along here and along the bottom so it has a good crease. Now I can fold this down and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So scoot the book just a smidge, fold the sides over. Again, you can see there's a little bit of the extra paper and that's okay. And I'm going to fold a line down like this. Now I'm ready for my filament tape. So while I get the filament tape ready, I usually just close the book up like this. You're gonna need four pieces of this filament tape. So to do that, I am going to grab here and I just kind of put it on the corner of a table and pull. This piece is actually probably a little bit too big, but that's okay. So you cut, pull down to cut. And then I'm gonna get this next one ready. Pull towards me and cut. 
And so I'm just going to get four pieces, one for the top and bottom of the whole section, all the sections. Okay, so I've got my four pieces of tape ready. Now this part is a little bit tricky, so you want to hold the book while you do this part. You're going to take one piece of tape, and you are going to put it on the inside flap. So I have it on the inside here, and then you're going to fold it between the cover you just made and the book itself so that it holds tight. And you'll see that one is done. So I just did, I put the piece of tape right here, and then I tucked it inside and stuck it to the actual book itself. So then you're going to repeat that for the top and the bottom of um, both sides of the dust jacket. So I'm going to go to the back cover. I'm going to grab my piece of tape. I'm going to put it on here. I attach it to the book itself and where the dust jacket meets the book itself. Fold it back and stick it to the book. Now I'm ready to do the bottom. So I'm going to grab my piece of tape, stick it where the book and the dust jacket meet, fold it over the top of the book, and stick it to the inside under the jacket. And then I'm on my last one. This piece is a little big, but that's okay. It can just stick a little more to the top. And now you can see my book is covered. I've got all four of my pieces of tape here and it's ready to go on the shelf. Um, one thing to note, you wanna be extra sure that your book is oriented the right way so that you don't put it in upside down. So when you are ready to put your dust jacket on the physical book itself, make sure they're facing the same direction. Um, if you have any questions, if you wanna do one together before you do it um, yourself, I am totally open to that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and thanks for helping in the library.